Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last episode, we completed the Battle of Jaco and actually unlocked Gan Ning in that level. Not an easy task. Wang Zhu, Wang Zhu of Jaco attempts to wage a naval battle against the Sun family, but his opponent is Sun Jian, a former pirate hunter with superb naval combat skills. Having the advantage on water, Sun Jian leads his troops to victory over Huang Zhu even though we battle on the ground most of the time. The threat from the west has been eliminated, but Wu is still wedged between enemies to the north and south. Reports of giant beasts are rampant in the south, and a massive fleet is sighted in the north, traveling down the Changjiang. And of course, that would be the Nanman troops from Nanjiang, Meng Huo. Elephant troops, ugh. This may not end well. But, luckily we do have arrows to knock the guys off the elephants. So anyways, we'll just set up the, uh, my bodyguards, the same as usual. Didn't get much levels out of that because, well, two of them died in battle. Okay, so we got Mang Huo, who is the leader of the Nanman over here. King Mulu will be over here. Uh, King Wutugu, Mang Yo, Dalai Dongju, and King Duozi. Yeah, well basically the Nanman is an indigenous tribe where there are a lot of kings. But Meng Huo is the leader of all the kings, so he's the king of kings. And like Triple H or something. These Nanman savages have to be taught a lesson. Yeah, let's do it, man. Now this is quite a neat environment. It's a jungle. Oh geez, there's the elephants. The enemy's fault. Yeah, it's fine. Just do it, guys. The ground's shaking. Does this not remind you of Lord of the Rings Return of the King on the Pelennor Fields? It's like the Mooma Kill are attacking us! That is a huge Take their elephants and use them to destroy their <laughs> Not a bad idea. In fact, we actually have to use the elephants to get rid of some barricades that are going to be in the way. And riding an elephant is the same as riding a horse. The only difference is it's slower and it has different attacks. Ow! Yeah. Elephants. Oh, did I... Damn it, Cole! Did you get trampled by an elephant? Okay, now I'm getting trampled. Oh, Samurai's down. Oh my god, I lost all my bodyguards. So quickly. Jeez. So much for leveling my uh, bodyguards this way if they're all gone. They didn't even last, what, two minutes in this level? Jesus. That is so bad. Okay, so I'll take these elephants myself. Any gate or tower if we use elephants. Where's my elephant? So yes, you can destroy the Nanman towers and their barricades just by using elephants. They don't move pretty fast, though, but what do you expect? They're giant creatures. They can't really run as the fastest horse. If they could, I mean, there's something wrong. I can't believe they used our own elephants against us! Why do you seem so surprised? It's a winning strategy. Okay, I definitely want to help out the other Wu troops somewhere to the north, since they're very close to the base. I'll also create an opening just by destroying that barricade. And you use Triangle as like a stomp attack, and that can actually knock other, elef other troops off their elephants. Like so. Now what? Huh! Good work. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome cutscene. He's like, yeah, my elephant did that. Uh, there's still more guard towers over here. It should really help out my troops. Oh, I think that's a bad idea to get off the elephant. So I'll get back on it. There's King Mulu over here. There. That should neutralize him off the elephant. So I'll just fight him on ground. 
The only thing I hate about the elephants is if you're near them, they constantly keep growling or making noises. So yeah, you're gonna hear the every few seconds. Especially if you attack right near them. But I don't see why. I mean, elephants don't really have a health bar. I should definitely clear out that, uh, that stronghold over there to the northwest. Help out my troops so that they don't get constantly bombarded reinforcements. And if I can damage some of Mong Ho's morale, that's even better. I gotta be on the lookout for some reinforcements that'll be coming from the east later on. From Mong Ho's wife, Zhu Rong. She's also a very capable fighter, based on, like, Amazons. Just be very cautious of her. She's fast. Okay, I can trust you to handle this. Can I, Taisha? I mean, you don't really have an elephant, but you're good on a horse. Uh, where's my elephant? Some of you were just here on The Simpsons, I know. Like, where's my elephant? Hey, get off. I'm not gonna have you harassing my troops with your elephants. Good, I'm dropping his morale. Oh my god, how the hell can you knock me off the elephant? I didn't even see any archers there. We must all follow your example. Yeah, by, I don't know, getting on an elephant yourself, Sunjian. I think that would be pretty awesome to see you on an elephant. Oh my god, did, did we... Did I knock that troop off the elephant too? Oh shit, now Zhu Rong's on the attack. I'm gonna have to go back and cut her off. This does not bode well. Because if I don't cut her off, she's gonna start using fire archers against our base. And that'll drop our morale. So I better stop her before it's too late. So this would be a good opportunity to battle her for the first time. Well, not first time for me, just first time in this Let's Play. Just to see what she's like. Who's man enough to take on the Goddess of Fire? I'll do it! Let's dance! Huh, I still love doing that. Whoa, that attack is super powerful! Oh, there's like two hits. Did I die? I died, didn't I? Oh, wow. I'm keeping that in. That was just so bad. Like, how did that all happen so quickly? Oh, I'll meet you back here to this point. That was just so nasty. Okay, I'm back here at this point again when Zhu Rong shows up. I just tried to destroy this point, and she actually showed up sooner than last time. Hey, can I get on the elephant, please? Thank you. Okay, this time I'm actually not going to duel her because, well, that happened. I want to actually live longer. My bodyguards are actually still alive at this point, which is good. Rather than dying very early in the game, or in this particular level. Oh, elephants are very hard to maneuver sometimes. But I guess that's to be expected. Maybe this will help show you clear out the uh, gate captain. I got a new one to take that guard tower out. There. That should take out those crossbowmen. 
All right, Juron, where you? What the hell? Pick me off? I did not think there'd be archers on those towers, but those are usually my own archers. What the hell? Pick me off? Was that crossbowman land on his feet? Yep, yeah, I'm declining for obvious reasons. I don't need an elephant to fight. Where is she wrong anyway? Oh, she's over there. She's still on her elephant. Okay, I knocked her off. Good. Well, at least she's not elevated to Lubu levels when you fight her. It's only in duels that for some reason she's super strong. There! That's all there was to it. Pretty good. I'll take this loss. Well you should, because it happened. Okay, that should help everybody out with Shu Rong taken down. Alright, now I'll just head back to the uh, main unit over there in the west. Because that's where most of the action is. So, unfortunately it does take a while. Elephants are slow. But you can't be surprised about that. They're not known to be really fast. If you run into a fast elephant, chances are it's <laughs> Flame Mammoth from Mega Man X. That's not really an elephant, that's a mammoth. Eh, sure, I'll take out that gate captain. And he's basically at the point of no return over here. Thank you. I don't need a horse, I need an elephant. <laughs> it's like confetti when you just walk, walk into these non man warriors with an elephant. Look at them just scatter. Oh, I almost knocked him off. Impressive. I will soon enough. He can't avoid me forever. You know what? I'll just let him go for now. But I might lose my bodyguards if I do. There. At least they're still alive, which is good. I like to be able to keep leveling up my group so that I can take more with me. I believe there's something at the end of this here parallel path. So I'll just head there right now. It's around here? Yep, there's the Muso wine. Perfect. Now what? Okay, there's an officer over there to the north. I should definitely go over there and dispatch them. So I think one of my officers is there too. This music's actually pretty catchy, but it's not the best track in the game. It just fits the jungle theme. Oh, I'm so glad I can get some extra Muso power out of this. Every little bit counts. It gets you an extra hit in your combo. These non-mod troops actually give you pretty good stat ups. Sometimes attack and defense up two or even a four. Let us go as well. There, that should get the momentum on our side. Damn it, Cole, just attack them. Rag you too. Non-mod don't bite. I don't think they do. I'm pretty sure they're not cannibals of any kind. So now let's advance towards the main camp, which is to the south. If I keep all my bodyguards, that should be great for us. Unlike last time. I believe if you just go to Chur B without taking on this level, you would have less troops for that mission. So let's head there right now. Another officer. Perfect. Let's 
it's, uh, it's much better to fight these guys on foot rather than on uh, elephants. Oh! Damn it. There. Get all my health back. So now there's probably maybe one or two officers left. And then there's Mong Huo. It's one of them. It's time to make a grand appearance, don't you think? Damn it, they don't really like that. Apparently they don't appreciate people riding their own elephants. Why not? Don't you want people to be open to your culture? I'm very open. I mean, Wong Guy can pretty much pass as a non mon guy. Seriously, I mean, look at him. He's got the color. And he's very brutish, so it would fit him. Okay, I don't believe I'm going to need the elephants anymore. So I'll just take this on foot. Maybe the dim sum's around here. I can believe it was near a fort. Oh shit. Oh, there's Mong Yo. I wonder if he's related to Mong Guo. Maybe brothers? I'm not sure. I have to check the uh, encyclopedia that's in this game and look up that particular officer, which you can do. How you just charge in off screen. Not nice. Good. Ah, uh, there's no items, but there's full moose over ten seconds. Yeah, I am the angel of death. Hey, you can't destroy the Nanmon towers with your own attacks. You can only do that with the elephants. So that is one good thing about the elephants. They're the only ones that can take out these towers. Damn it, arrows. Oh, I was in the middle of my combo. Don't even think about it, boys. You know what? Guys, go on any attack. Oh, Samurai's almost dead! Too bad you can't get health ups for your bodyguards. Oh shit, that could be the end of Samurai right there if that Nanman elephant hits him. If he comes my way... There! Pick him off with an arrow. Okay, that should be the last of the troops nearby. This is not a hard mission, don't get me wrong. Just that, that that duel with Zhu Rong was the one that killed it for me. Like, it was going well at first, but if she's able to do that much damage with one hit, that pretty much sets the tone of how it's gonna go. Like, if that happens, yeah, you've got little chance. Wait, Zhu Rong was able to eviscerate them? What the hell? Her, the, her troops had no morale. How did that happen? Like, how did you lose? They had a morale of zero. Man, that was so bad. Okay, I believe Mong Huo should be somewhere around here. Like, all the way in the back. Oh, there he is. Huh, give it a shot. Oh, Samurai's back to full health. Good, I was getting kind of worried about ya. Oh, no, he's down to half health already. Oh, I lost Samurai to Mong Huo's attack. This raid, I'll, I'll only be finishing this level with three bodyguards the entire time. Not a bad Muso attack, I must say. He thinks he's a dog. Alright, 
It's time to take the fight to him. I'm yeah, you should be. Where are you two, Sun Shang Jiang? Oh my god, Cole got lost. So it looks like I won't be able to level up my bodyguards at all again because of this. They are so fragile. I think some of these troops are just getting back on their elephants. Hey, he knocked over his own tower. Oh, this is not looking good if I'm going to get attacked from all sides. These guys are not helping me. Did Bragg lose too? Because I don't see him. There. That should help a little bit. Ugh. He's a very capable fighter, this Mong Ho is. He's strong, but he's fast. Pretty good, I gotta say. Yeah, damn right. Even though this was my second try at this level. Alright, so we got through that level. Took us two tries, but still, we did. Ooh, seven star sash, your luck goes up. I think that determines what kind of items you get, or what level they will be. Okay, still at level 8. I had no bodyguards. Wow. They all died. Hey, so, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're gonna have the Battle of Cherby. See you later everyone, thanks for watching.